Hello and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in the shortest space of time. Well, today we're going to be looking at gonorrhea. Remember, gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection caused by Neisseria gonorrhea. This is a gram-negative intracellular diplococcus that is non-spore-forming, non-mortal, encapsulated, non-acid-fast bacteria which appears kidney-shaped under the microscope. Gonorrhea has an incubation period of 2 to 5 days, however, it can last 14 days. It mainly infects columnar epithelial cells of the urethra, endocervix, rectum, or pharynx and may be contracted through unprotected sexual practices such as vaginal sex, oral sex, as well as rectal sex. Symptoms vary between men and women and may present with a purulent urethral discharge in 80% of the time. The discharge may or may not contain blood and is sometimes associated with dysuria where there is a burning sensation when urinating. Anal discharge, tenismus, and proctitis may be seen if individuals have anorectal involvement. In the women, half of the cases tend to be asymptomatic. However, it may present with a mucopurulent discharge that may or may not have blood. Other symptoms include dysuria and proctitis, which is related to either anal sex or spread from the vagina. Pharyngeal infections in both genders tend to be asymptomatic. Investigations are aimed at demonstrating the bacteria in the discharge, so microscopy culture and sensitivity can be ordered along with other blood investigations such as a full blood count, ESR, C-reactive protein, blood cultures, urea and electrolyte. Management involves a single dose of ceftriaxone 500 mg as an intramuscular injection plus 1 gram of azithromycin given orally. The second line alternatives include suffixin 400 mg orally. Complications may be local or systemic. Local complications include epididymal ochitis, prostatitis, and bartholinitis, including abscesses, as well as PID. Systemic complications include disseminated gonococcal infection, which may present as arthritis, dermatitis syndromes, or septic arthritis. Other complications include infective endocarditis and meningitis. In infants born to mothers with gonorrhea, there may be conjunctivitis, rectal infection, and pneumonia. Thank you for spending your time to watch this video on gonorrhea. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevo to Zambia and beyond. Until next time, bye-bye.